Hi, it's Kelly here, and in this video I want to share something with you that a lot of people have issues with, and uh, it's not a topic that people like to talk about, but I feel like if I could share my personal story with you, my own personal testimony, that you know, if I can help one person, it, it'll be worth it, because I have suffered with this on occasion. Uh, it was uh, getting pretty regular, uh, and it was pretty bad. Uh, but anyway, if I can help one person, and it's going to be something that's different, it's a different solution than, uh, than I've seen anybody else talking about. And now what that is, you know, it's obviously the issue of, of constipation. And ever since I fell uh, about 15 years ago into the side of my car, it aggravated my already injured spine um, to where I went from having you know, bowel movements two to three times a day to once a day, sometimes, you know, occasionally not at all. And that's not a good thing. And, uh, and then in, in, the, in the past couple of years, in particular, I would, maybe more than that, I would get to where I would be impacted and it would be really bad. So I found a solution and it's, it's uh, what's called N-acetylcysteine, NAC, there happens to be two NACs. This is an amino acid. And what it does, it, it's a mucolytic. That means it dissolves mucus. And so I thought, oh, it's a mucolytic. And a constipation is when we have, we can get dried mucus, because there is always mucus, some mucus, that's what holds your, your stool together. Um, but then if it doesn't pass, it dries out and, and you know, causes it can get worse and worse and worse and become quite painful for some people. Um, but I looked it up online. There was not much on it, but there was a study that showed uh, where they used it on, on babies up to a year old. And uh, they used up to 1,800 milligrams. And they said, don't use more than that and uh, because there were some, some issues about it beyond that. Um, as an adult even, I wouldn't take any more than 1,800. I only take like one a day, sometimes two. Um, and, you know, I just thought I would check it out. It was skimpy evidence, but I thought, well, I'm gonna check it out for me because if it doesn't work, it's not, it's not harmful. And uh, it's, good, it's good for clearing up the, the chest too, the, uh, the mucus in the chest. So, so I thought I'd try it. And sure enough, it has been great. It has really changed things. I haven't had the kind of issue that I've had in the past where it was so bad. And again, uh, you know, if I could just help one person, uh, bear with me. It was so bad that sometimes I, every time I'd stand up, I'd feel like I'm going to go to the bathroom before I make it to the bathroom. And then I'd get to the bathroom and sit down and I couldn't go. So there was pressure there triggering uh, whatever. But I was unable to go, you know, because of the injury to my lower back, the nerve function is impaired. And so just things that don't work, and then it builds up. And so I was having some extreme problems with it. Um, so maybe, maybe you don't have that big of a problem, but th that's great, because that maybe this will work even better for you. I take uh, one a day. Sometimes I take it one twice a day. I don't think I've ever taken three. Maybe I have. But... Uh, you know, it's great. And so I would do that. And by the way, I also use turkey rhubarb. I take that every night. That's another one that assists with going to the bathroom. And uh, I used to take uh, cascara sagrada. Um, I don't take senna. That's kind of irritating. Um, it, yeah, so some people use senna, but I don't. Um, and did I mention I would drink extra aloe vera and also uh, for McCormick's, uh, McCormick's spice uh, called Mexican chili pepper. It's a very mild pepper. And so I just would sprinkle some extra on my hand and, and lick it off, actually, and uh, drink some water or drink some aloe. Usually <coughs> drink some aloe afterwards. And, uh, and, and since then, I have not had those kinds of problems. Yeah, they can potentially produce colon cancer, so I'm glad that to you know, clear that out. Um, so I hope this helps you. Um, you know, you can like it, subscribe, leave comments or ask questions. Uh, I'll answer the best I can. Um, you know, I don't want to get too wrapped up in this topic. I told you what I 
mostly what I know, and, and that's it. So it's a testimony of my own. Uh, you know, you can try it at your own risk, uh, and I, but I just hope it helps you. And maybe if you share it, it'll help others as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so there we go. You take care, and God bless.